Hey, what do you like talking about funny? What do you think? Do you see any possibility? Every single guy I've talked to about it, like any like other leagues and stuff in Europe, they always ask the same thing, and I'm like, I, I, I have my answer, but I want to hear from you. What will it take for there to be a men's league in the U.S.? And do you think it ever could happen? What will it take? Well, I think the sport has to grow a ton, but I think it has to like. It has to be like a niche sport. Like it's never going to dethrone any of the big dogs. And so with that being said, it has to like take different avenues into like revenue streams. Like you can't enter into like the TV market. You have to go into like a streaming market. You have to go into, you have to like go into the internet rather than hitting up the TV stations where you're not going to get, that's where all the money's made for like the NBA and NFL right now. Right. So Hey guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this clip of If You Can't Handle the Heat. I'm here to inform you guys that we have plenty more juicy information and storytelling on the full episode. Make sure you click the link below. We're both on Apple Music and Spotify. It's easy. Click the link below. Bam. A lot more information coming your way. Now, let's get back to the magic. There's no way that volleyball is going to reach that, like in the next 100 million years, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. In that, in that but after regard. that, we might have a shot. You know, give it. Just gotta stay patient. We might, be, we might be there. We stay patient. The sports gotta. The sports it's gonna grow, but it's it might take a little while. <laughs> but but um, do I think that they can pull off a league like a respectable league in America? Um, yes, but I do think that a lot of the players would have to take pay cuts to go to. America. I was gonna say I've talked to some people that. A lot of people would take definitely take pay cuts to play in the U.S. Um, would you? Do you would think you, that's the case? Depends on how big the pay cut. Is. <laughs> For sure. Twenty bucks a game. Sure. <laughs> I mean, if you cut my contract in half, I think it'd be tough, man. I think it'd be tough because it's a lot of like traveling on the road. It's a lot of like sacrifice that. In my opinion, it's for me right now, like for me, justifying playing over here and bringing my family over here, it's like to be able to set my family up for um, my post volleyball career, where then I can spend a lot more time with them and right. be able to like, you know, be switch roles a little bit, if you will, with like my wife, you know, like, right. So what? It, it would still be a similar lifestyle. It would just be with a different culture, I believe. And closer to family and better and like food that you love and like a lot that's of great true. things. That's true. Yeah, that's true. What if but you're still gone a whole lot. So you're saying fifty percent would make the decision difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's that's where that's like the most that you'd allow to be cut it's for yeah, you to you think know, about you, it. You know why? Is is because um I've played in Italy now for six years and it's it's become pretty normal like for me and my family yeah. and so it's not as uncomfortable as it once was right so sure. then you think of like okay what's the risk reward and i'm not i'm not as uncomfortable as i was before as my family like my kids going to school here like he's doing but like we're doing a bunch of things so you think of like um how miserable like miserable or like how much harder is it is it to be away from home versus like being at home and like still being able to set your family up so that's sure. that's a yeah you'd have to break down some numbers but man i would love to go in and i'd love for my career to just go die in america you know when i'm not you know i can't even move anymore for just sure. go just go like play a play a year in tennessee <laughs> Nashville, Ooh, tennessee would be a sick place that's like my that's like my one of those uh, top spots I want to go to. Yeah, Tennessee would be legit. <laughs> if you had to pick that three cities sick. really quick, three cities to host the team. If you wanted to make it successful, not for fun, and then if you wanted to make Ooh, it fun, successful. where would you choose? Successful, I'd have to go like one in the Midwest. Okay. Um and like Chicago, I St. Louis, like two, yeah, like a Chicago, St. Louis, like where those kind of a lot of like club teams come from. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I have to do like two um, in on the West Coast. 
I don't know if I'd do Los Angeles though. Like I don't think I would do LA. There's just too much going on. Too much going on, and like every like nobody's like like I put, let's put it this way. like everybody's kind of like too cool. Like even when you a hundred percent volleyball game, a hundred percent. Bro, we had oh my World gosh. League there at 2014. We had World League at the Pyramid. The worst fans in the world. Nah, man. The worst. Dude, they're so the bad. Worst. I hated playing at UCLA. We'd get heckled in our own gym all day long. I'm like, oh, it was terrible. and then you get overseas and you're like, these people have some actual passion. Like, I don't know. It was a wake oh, up call. Yo, what I, 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 I'll say that. What it, I do not like the LA fans. I think they're too cool. They're on their phone. They're like dressing nice. That's it's like a, more of a show. Like Midwest what if, fans what if, and like SEC football fans. Respect. Oh, yeah. Hawaii fans. I feel like Hawaii, Hawaii if it wasn't so far away, it'd be financially easier. Yeah. But still would be a good spot for one. Sorry, Joe. I'm cutting you off. But I needed to say No, that. no. I said what, what if you put them in Clovis and like it's the only thing going on in the town. Like Fresno, Clovis, the middle of California. Like. But there's yeah, nothing else going on there. Men's volleyball is a sport. <laughs> I know, but there is something to be said for like volleyball? nothing else Friday is going night, on. night, there's nothing else going on, and you can kind of build it into the the town's culture. Oh, you get it. yeah, yeah, I, for sure. That's definitely something that you'd have. That's to That's kind think of about. Modena. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, well, Modena is a volleyball town. Like everybody, more or less, like loves volleyball. Uh-huh.